Hello, Assalamualaikum. I am Fatima Tujhara Borna. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I will show you how to auto search um, using Material CSS. There is a multiple ways uh, to do the auto complete, but uh, today I will use just the Material CSS. So let's do it. Our web.php. I write this line. So you can write this one, then it will go to this controller, this uh, function. So in controller, I just define this one and there is the view part. And we already uh, created this file and this file is I prepared the uh, view part using material CSS just over there. This is um, a CSS framework, just make a view the beautiful. If you want to use the um, view that I am using, I will be using. So you can go gitlab.com slash bones and then this line here uh, you find a file click here here is the v card just copy this one and just paste here and save go to the browser There is the view, just the view part, nothing uh, special. Here, if you see, I include this one since we are using the material framework, that's why I input this CSS file. Also, this material JS and this uh, jQuery uh, will be used. Uh, in nest that's why I also include this file and if you go there material and click this link if you go getting started in CDN you will find this material uh, material files that's mean CSS and JS file and for auto load here is the auto load that I will be use all we need uh, value here from the database for database gitlab.com If you see there is a sample database, uh, download this and import your uh, database. Here uh, I use uh, this database customer table. Well, so we have to uh, get this database and then show it in the here this field customer name well so we can uh, get this data various way like if we um, browse and that way we can also find the data like for that we can use jQuery tab enter here I write this line here this uh, document uh, or DOM actually your this browser page along with your CSS, JS files, image, everything that's included in this page. So that is the document or DOM uh, in a short and 
these lines actually meaning that when your document will be easy with all your uh, files then uh, it will run this function so when this uh, page will be ready that document will be ready this function will be uh, contacted so let's just write a function dot log that's for our debugger testing uh, nothing else so save this and go to browser in browser refresh this control shifter right click then click inspect inspect then go to console in the uh, if you see and if you refresh control shifter or controller that means the browser is refreshing you, you say you can see this that means this document is successfully uh, loaded okay in the next steps whenever uh, this document will be ready uh, or this space will be loaded we will uh, get the data uh, from the database so for that uh, dynamical without refresh the page we can use ajax get the data without uh, refresh the page and it has some uh, options type that mean it will be which type of request we want to use we will use it some uh, um, there is post also but we will use get because we need to um, get the data that's why and then URL so here is the uh, URL so what will happen when the page will be refreshed it will uh, get the data so it will go this link that means find customers slash find uh, customers for that URL I write here find customers so it will go this controller this function then in this function I write this line that is this get customer will come here and this is the uh, database this is the model customer so I write here that is the model and in model uh, I write this line so here it will get the data and this is the data we will send this data and after getting the data it will if it come the request comes successfully it will come here in the success In this success, it will come and suppose the response. You can write here the user uh, define it is. Let's see with this kind of data we are getting and write response and just save. So, what will happen when the page will be? Uh, when the page will be loaded then it will go this URL and here is the URL def defined then you come this function and this is the database we are getting from the table and it will be written and in the view when it will come successfully then we will see the database or the data from the controller so let's refresh for the guitar. If you see, we are getting data as an array. That is 25. The array si size is 25, 0 index array, 1 index array. So this is the column name. This is the second. Uh, second number column 
data so we are getting the data but we are getting as a array after getting data now here we will use the material css auto for that we can all come here and just copy this and paste here so since we so this this is the material I here use ID ID attribute it will be that and then it will be this one and this is the data so let's write here this data and then save it are okay there is the error we are getting uncode type error cannot see okay why we are getting this that is material css when you use this drop down you have to use that is the area where we are include the autocomplete so write div input fill that there and this part where this one and just paste and save this one control shifter okay there is no error right now let's see if right nothing is coming in the search auto search because um if you see this data actually um, in metal CCS there is a things the type will be object but we are getting the data uh, from database as the array so this is array but these actually accept object so we have to um, convert this array to object so let's do the convert part here I write this line for the converting word. If you see, one, but uh, we have to convert this one like just this way. Probably the name, then something, then name one then something then so we, we this is the desire format for that i just uh, the data we getting from the database i just put here in this variable then i just initialize this array like for that one okay and i look through because uh, the we are getting array from the database so if we look through from zero since it is starting from zero and so it will it will come then it will take the name because we in auto load i want to use this this column name and data cast this one equal to null and this will be incremented in implemented up to the length of this array so this will actually create this probably zero index this one i equal to one this one i equal to three this one this way it will create this one so if we just write auto dot log and just copy this one then let's just write this one again okay. Okay. 
control 4 if you see here we're getting the this way and if you write here we're not getting the auto load yet because we didn't use this one just copy this one because this is the object right now the desired object and paste here and save write something yes we are getting the data desired data one interesting thing is that if you see this is null because um, if we write something here like age there is just only the name but there is no if like you want to write hd and yes and save control filter right you can see there is a link because this link appears i write here https so you can write here that will be appear along with your desired customer name but suppose you don't need any just the name so the up to this this is okay now suppose uh, you select something and now you want to uh, after the selected name you want to put the uh, the respected code and country here for that after the when the uh, auto completed will be done this function can be called so copy this one paste if you say this is up to this one and right now if we write okay something is select and there is the bold so bold is selected for getting the desired data we will create here similar like this we will create another object probably this is two and this one and just copy similar way we will uh, create this for searching the data and just write this one also here just oh, if we do we can see what what is this is structure actually if you see another object that is name and equal to there is the desired things so we can uh, using this uh, key name that is a customer name we can get the respected uh, code name country city so to access this one here the code name this is the country ID just here and this is that is mean the selected name because uh, ship here yes this is working so this way you can also put the data this is the way you can uh, do the material material auto complete okay there is another approach to get the data from the database and for that one let's delete up to this one and okay this also 
this is the converting part when the database data will be converted then this is the, just the material so now we have to do the database things so for that there is a uh, other package that you can use what will happen that uh, from the controller to your view you can send the uh, PSP variable to your um, jquery so for that I just if you go there I write a post and uh, I don't show you the whole process just click here because I already prepared a video you can also see this video for get a, for more explanation so what will happen I will explain one by one like first of all in composer you will write this line so I already write my this line in my terminal or what's the composer so I will not write this line then after this line you will make sure that this line is uh, included so in composer you will check that this line is um, you have this line then after this you will go config then app dot psp then provider in provider add this line so provider I already add this line then here like this way you add this line this is that's mean this one and in composer write this or terminal just write this line and this is the configuration so after doing this one file will be uh, created that is under the com config then javascript psp there you will find that it will footer so i just rename and rename this name and here i just write also this is redefine this one window verb well this will be the global variable that our javascript will be variable we uh, append or include and this will be the view okay so in view uh, we create this file i already create this file here same name putaverview.com and here there is no, nothing inside this file that in view this javascript file here you include it will be footer verb view dot play dot pc it will include here in this file then just copy this press this this line and we don't need this one anymore just just here and here you have to First, you have to write this database. So, whenever you um, ref, uh, enter the base, so it will get the database. And then, just write this line. Now come this link. it will come this controller so there is the this is the database data and this one actually transferring your uh, this uh, 
a variable to your view that is this view so if you write here here in on javascript dot write this global variable so accessing this data we have to write here in the view dot and this is the nickname of the variable so right here and save just paste here so that data base data will be assigned here so cast array actually the database data then we just initialize this one this uh, this one for the autocomplete search input box and this one for the uh, later when the autocomplete will be completed we we will use this uh, object so we create this one for autocomplete and this one for after the autocomplete one so this is the converting part array to object then in autocomplete just we set up the database that is the autocomplete part and after the autocomplete part we just uh, put this way so, so if you see just save this one and control filter and write well this is working very well there is another thing this is minimum length that is the minimum number of character uh, when you write to that's when you have the source will be completed like this that means you have to write two later then the auto source will become and they will show you the limit five that is after five matching will be showing so save this one come here control shifter nothing will happen okay no sourcing is happening well as it as it so because uh, after writing two if i write here one and then save control shift here right l well this is up to five because there is the limit is five and if i write just delete that will be unlimited so all the source so there is all the sourcing is coming okay that's all today well another things that is uh, for after auto complete I just use uh, for this line but uh, similar way here you can use Ajax the way you send database from the JS to the controller the way I first one showing you so you can use Ajax then you in success you can write this two line but not this one that will be the another the success function parameter here will be one okay that's all today